Parents of Michigan high school shooter Ethan Crumbly will go to trial, judges rule. The parents of Michigan school shooter Ethan Crumbly will stand trial for their alleged role in the attack, a three-judge panel with the Michigan Court of Appeals has ruled. Jennifer and James Crumbly have pleaded not guilty to four counts of involuntary manslaughter in connection with the November 30, 2021 mass shooting at Oxford High School. Their son, Ethan Crumbly, who was 15 at the time, allegedly used James Crumbly's semi-automatic handgun to kill four students and injure several others. Jennifer and James Crumbly are accused of making the gun accessible and failing to recognize warning signs. In a written opinion, Judge Christopher Murray said Jennifer and James Crumbly's actions and inactions were inexorably intertwined with their son's actions. The parents were actively involved in their son's mental state remaining untreated, Murray said. The parents also provided him with the weapon he used to kill the victims and refused to remove him from the situation that led directly to the shootings, Murray wrote. In a concurring opinion, Judge Michael Reardon wrote that although parents typically cannot be held liable for a child's crime, Jennifer and James Crumbly were aware of visual evidence that Ethan Crumbly was contemplating the act of gunshot wounds being inflicted upon someone. Days before the shooting, a teacher allegedly saw Ethan Crumbly researching ammunition in class, and the school contacted his parents, but they didn't respond, according to prosecutors. But Jennifer Crumbly did text her son, writing, LOL, I'm not mad at you, you have to learn not to get caught, according to prosecutors. Hours before the shooting, prosecutors said a teacher saw a note on Ethan Crumbly's desk that was a drawing of a semi-automatic handgun pointing at the words, the thoughts won't stop, help me. In another section of the note was a drawing of a bullet with the following words above that bullet, blood everywhere. The Crumblies were called to the school over the incident and said they'd get their son counseling, but they did not take him home, prosecutors said. A lawyer for the Crumblies and the Oakland County Prosecutor's Office declined to comment on the ruling, citing a gag order. Last year Ethan Crumbly pleaded guilty to all charges against him, including terrorism and murder.